Hello and welcome to Easy Projects. So one of the first things I tried with my laser cutter was to engrave in anodized aluminium because I've seen some industrial machines do that and it looks really nice when it's done but unfortunately I didn't have much luck with that so I quickly gave up on it and guessed that the machine wasn't powerful enough but recently a guy commented on my previous video about the laser cutter and asked if I have tried to engrave in black anodized aluminium panels. Since the one I tried was clear anodized or non-colored, I thought that maybe the color could have something to say. So I quickly passed a black anodized heatsink under the laser and it actually left a mark. So that got a bit interesting. I tried some other pieces of anodized aluminium and it seemed to engrave in all of them. And finally, I tried to sacrifice my iPad here, which is just a clear anodize. And you might be able to see it also left a mark there. So I'm starting to think that the material I tried to engrave in wasn't actually anodized, but more like etched or something. But we will get back to that later. Now that this seems to work anyway, Let's try and engrave something in this iPad here. Maybe put my name here or something. So let's hope I did the math correct and it will be centered on the iPad in the top. Hmm, that didn't turn out as expected, but it could be that I'm just moving the cutting head too fast. Let me just try and outline the text with a slower speed so we can see if that makes a difference. Well, it did indeed engrave it, but it's not that consistent. In this area, it's very light, and here it's very dark, so yeah. But then again, it's just a test. Maybe it's better if we use some colored anodized aluminum. Let's uh, sacrifice some more Apple products. So, here we go with a blue iPod this time. And I think something went wrong. So, let's see if it will do it this time. That's more like it. It definitely seemed to burn the color away. Hmm, 
Yep, that worked just fine. So let's see if we can engrave a little bit faster and get the same result. And it looks like we could have gone even faster. There is really supposed to be a blue line on the back of this banana here, but it seems like it's a little overexposed. But anyway, it can definitely engrave in it. I want to give the uncolored another try, so I went and anodized a piece of aluminium myself. So I am sure this is not treated or coated with anything. So let's try that. So I just bumped up the speed a little bit and lowered the power by 10%. It was on 80% before and now we're doing 70. Now this looks nice. It is a little dependent on the angle of the light though, but if the light is not reflecting directly 90 degrees on the surface, it's very visible. It doesn't look like the vertical lines are 100% straight. I don't know, maybe there's a loose belt or something. I have to take a look at that. I noticed that on another cut that I made also. So I don't really know about this iPad. Maybe it's not even anodized at all. It just uh, looks like it. Because I would kind of have expected it to turn white by now. It does that both on the non-colored and the colored anodized aluminum. So I'm still wondering what that material I tried to engrave in when I just got the machine what that material was. So I tried to etch something with hydrochloric acid and it gets a bit lighter than when it's anodized so maybe it could have been that but it gets a lot more rough in the texture and I can't really remember much about that material but it is not visible if you try to engrave in something like this that have been etched. And just in case you wonder the first name here I cut with 60 millimeters per second the bananas were cut with 120 and the easy projects was cut with 150 but with a laser power of 70 percent as I said the other things are done with 80 so I'm pretty sure you will see a lot more of this in the future I will definitely try and make some front panels in aluminium then anodize them when the holes and slots and everything are cut and then laser engrave the labeling afterwards. I think that will look pretty awesome. Maybe I should try and get some dye and some sealer for the anodizing as well, but that's a whole other topic. Anyway, if you liked the video, 
please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel even though this video is probably a little bit off topic and of course thanks for watching see ya